at, at the moment we're roughly a, a $470 million sector. Uh, we do have a goal as an industry to be a billion dollar sector uh, and you know, that's a combination of uh, some new farms, better productivity from the farms that we have and of course getting the best possible price in market. The industry's really advanced in many ways but one of the things that's not very advanced is that they still rely entirely on, on wild caught spat. All of our spat is caught wild or collected from a 90 mile beach wild. Um, we have no control over the, the landings of that, that uh, raw material. And that um, creates a bit of vulnerability in terms of whether that natural wild supply is going to turn up every year. So our, our job really is to take control of the reproduction of the species and once we do that then we can choose the very best that, that nature has to offer and breed from those. Uh, um, uh, it brings tears to my eyes when I walk in there. Um, that's a state-of-the-art muscle hatchery and cutting-edge technology for producing green shelf spat. Um, it is step change for the industry. From the farmer's perspective, uh, in terms of the, uh, the husbandry on the farm, you're going to get better survival and you're going to get uh, better uh, uh, you know, meat to shell ratios and uh, better condition animals. So your actual harvest weight uh, will improve. And when you, when you start selectively breeding for desirable market characteristics, it means that you can start targeting towards niches to, to extract premium prices. We're the only industry that doesn't use selectively bred stock to produce our animals. We rely totally on wild stock, and so we are at ground zero for breeding a better animal for production. So what we're trying to do is, is get the mussels to um, start spawning and spawning just means, they're, means that they're releasing their, um, their gametes, which is their eggs and their sperm, and this is the um, start of the process. In the long term, the opportunities are endless. We, you think about something like the wine industry where they're growing the Pinot Noir or the Shiraz or the Chardonnay, that may be the future or, or we may be told we want to breed for the amazing health giving properties that the green shell mussel has. By 2026, the projections are that uh, it'll be worth around $80 million, and if the entire industry adopts the technology, then it could be up to um, $200 million. So at the moment, our project's 100% focused on green shell muscle, but the, the platform of capability and the facility that we've built is something that can support um, all filter feeding shellfish culture. So, Mussels are a lot like scallops, are a lot like oysters, are a lot like gooey duck in terms of the sorts of facilities and the sorts of expert staff that you need to grow them in a hatchery. So once we've got the mussel thing rolled out, then I'm sure there'll be other challenges in other parts of the shellfish world.